This is my first real whiny complaint about the game and one element of it. Today is the 28th of March and this Arabian Loot Crate notice came out on the 6th of December 2018. So it's March 2019, back then when they put out the development notice for Loot Crates. On the same day, the patch that implemented the Loot Crates dropped. So since this period of time we've had these Loot Crates, the reward for getting the Loot Crates, not a bad vehicle. Very unique, K1A1. Looked like a really good deal. I thought it'd be okay, it wouldn't be that onerous. The missions are a little bit iffy. You can either do global ops, random battles, or PvE to get the reward. But if you don't complete one, you have to either spend gold to complete it, or you have to go and play maybe something you don't like, and it takes quite a long time to get them done. So once I got the tank, that was fine. But at the same time, they told us in this that that's not all. The crate allows you to receive five upgrade modules. Gives you the impression that these upgrade modules would be a random drop in the crate. Well, they're not. They actually have to get 100 parts, not only to build the tank, but 100 parts to do the upgrades, which are just retrofits. Why a retrofit, which is a minor upgrade to the vehicle, costs you a 100 parts? I think that's a bit ludicrous. I would have thought 50 parts would be enough, but that's it. So you can receive blueprints, K1, and they can be sold for credits. And that's fine. I don't mind selling the parts off once you've got the vehicle. So we went through all of this, and now <sighs> I've just gotten sick and tired of the random number generator not giving me enough of the parts. Okay, let's look at the K1A1 parts. So at the moment, I've got a K1A1. I've got one kit on it that I've actually unlocked. This is where we're at, 73, 99, 92, 93. Got a bunch of crates that I've completed. One you have to get 100 parts to buy the tank, then all of a sudden you have to get 100 parts for each of these retrofits in order to make the tank more up to speed. So each of them, 100. I think 50 parts would be much better. So we scroll to the top, I've got four crates in this particular lot. So in the goods, four crates, let's open them all, all four of them. It'll take me two clicks to get them. Oh, awesome. Marvellous. Two clicks. Why two clicks? Back to the crates. This one, what do we get? <coughs> stage two kit. I've got two of them, and I've already got the stage two kit. What a waste of time. <sighs> <laughs> 10 of them, for the, now I've got 12 of them. Oh, God. Oh, well, that's handy, the tracker scheme. But it's only one. And the last one. <laughs> had to be one, didn't there? Just had to be. Well, we'll get rid of the tank. And we'll get rid of these stage two kits. So the tracker we got 94. Oh, beauty. Can sell off all 12 of those. Now you can only sell them off one at a time. That's also very annoying. You can open, unlock multiple crates, but you can't sell off multiple parts. And yep, we'll get rid of this. So previously I had um, 11 crates to open. And out of the 11 crates I got, the bulk of them were tanks. I got 14 friggin' tanks out of 11 crates. I got one autoloader scheme that took me to 70, from 72 to 73. And I've already got the stage 2 kit. 2.5 million it cost me, and 100 parts to get it. So it's kind of annoying, the random randomness of the random number generator and what it offers you. It's just so <sighs> laborious. I wish they'd lock out the tank once you get 100 parts. I wish they'd lock out the tank and just have the random number generator go over that. 
But the stage two kit, I've got um, enough of that to have two stage two kits almost. It's damnably annoying. And each of these other carts, you just have to wait for them. That's freaking bugging the crap out of me. So it takes forever to get the damn parts. There's a period just before Christmas between 24 December and 1 January where they offered for gold and dollars, spend money, you could buy loot crates and wasteland loot crates. We're only worried about the Arabian loot crates. For that, you could get all of the same things that you were getting before. So you could get the tank, you could get the parts, but again with the debacle on the rest of the loot crates and the way the random number generator was working, it didn't appeal to me as if it was a relevant choice because I thought I'd get more of the tank and less of what I actually needed. And at that particular point in time, um, I'd almost got the tank, so I didn't really need those. That could have been a mistake, but I still think it was probably my wisest choice. Thanks for the watch and the listen.